If you're looking to start a business, whether a side business or your main business, selling online is a great way to go. And if you're going to sell anywhere at all, then it definitely has to be on Amazon. And there are several reasons why. 1. Almost everyone shops on Amazon. 90% of all US consumers have shopped on Amazon at least once, while 65% shop on Amazon at least once a month. 2. More than 120 million Americans are Amazon Prime members. But even more striking is that in 2019, just two years back, third-party sellers on Amazon were responsible for 50% of Amazon's staggering $280 billion revenue. You can become a part of these third-party sellers making a huge profit on Amazon. All you need is to be handheld and shown exactly how you should go about it in order to be successful. This is what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos that will be making up this series. Selling on Amazon with Amazon's Fulfillment by Amazon FBA program is actually quite straightforward, at least on the surface. All you're doing is getting your product, sending them to Amazon's fulfillment centers. Then when customers order your product, Amazon packs it up and ships it to your customer in two days max. Because as an FBA seller, your products are automatically on Prime. Plus, Amazon manages customer support for you as well. It's really that straightforward, trust us. Find the right products, put in the work to build in your business, and you can make thousands of dollars annually even if you're just starting out. Now, let's begin with the basics. To sell on Amazon FBA, you need three things basically. A product you want to sell, a seller account, and a way to get your customer's eyes to your product. Now, there are various options or business models you can explore when building your business on Amazon. All of them have their pros and cons, but one in particular has proven to be super scalable and profitable, and that is private labeling. And that's the one we're going to be discussing in this course. But let's get an overview of each of these models first, and we'll start with private labeling. Private labeling is simply about creating your own brand of products. We'll explain how to do this later. Two, we have wholesale. In wholesale, you buy products in bulk from a manufacturer or distributor and then sell on Amazon. Three, we have reselling or arbitrage. In this case, you buy products from retailers at a discount and then resell them on Amazon. Four, you have dropshipping. With dropshipping, you sell your products from a manufacturer and they fulfill orders by shipping items to customers as they buy them. Lastly, we have handmade. This pretty much explains itself. You make your own products and then sell these products on Amazon. But as we said, private label is the most profitable and the most scalable of all these options and so that's why we'll be focusing on it in this course. By the way, 71% of all sellers on Amazon use the private label method, so you can see it's very effective. Here's a basic overview of how private label works on Amazon. Step 1. Do your product research. Here, what you want to do is to look for product niches that are not saturated but are still very much in high demand. These are the best kinds of products that will get you a good profit. Step 2. Source your products. After deciding on the product you want to sell, it's now time to actually get those products. So you would have to find a manufacturer or a supplier that can create or supply your products at a minimal cost. The supplier will then ship your products straight to Amazon's warehouses after you finalized all back and forths with them. But quick tip, we would advise you to send a small batch of the products to yourself first so you can inspect and test it to be sure it's what you want and that it is of good quality. Step 3. Create your product listing. Once you've shipped off your products to Amazon's fulfillment centers or warehouses, it's time to create a listing or listings as the case may be for your products or products. Step 4. Promote your product. This is probably the most thrilling part of the journey. It's time to go live. So you launch your products through serious advertising so you can stand out and rank on the Amazon search results. Step 5. Manage your sales. Here you'll be monitoring your sales and inventory to ensure that the profits continue to roll in. Alright, so we've talked about your part to play in the business, but Amazon also has a part to play as well. And here's what Amazon does. First, they receive your products and store them in a couple of their fulfillment centers around the country. There are thousands of employees working in these centers. There are also robots working there too, which is pretty cool. Now, these centers are massive. There, Amazon employees sort and inventory your products. Generally, Amazon is really careful with your products because it's in their best interest after all. If any of your products get damaged and you report it, they have to reimburse you in full. So, they are usually very careful. Next, when a customer orders your product, Amazon will process the transaction, pick up the product from the warehouse, pack it into an Amazon box and then ship it directly to your customer's doorstep. Finally, you don't even have to speak to your customer at all if you don't want to. Amazon will keep them in the loop with shipping notifications and tracking and Amazon will also help you manage reviews and returns if necessary. And with that, we have a basic overview of how private labels work. Let's zero in on what product you should sell on Amazon now. As you can probably guess, almost everything rises and falls on the product you choose to sell. So how can you tell if customers will buy a particular product? How do you price that product so you can make a good profit? How do you do your product research? 
we'll be dedicating the second half of this video to answering all of these questions. But before we go into the hard techniques, here are three rules of thumb that you have to follow. First, follow the data, not your heart. That is, don't just sell a product because it appeals to you. Sell it only if the data proves that that particular product would deal well. Remember that business is about what your customer wants and not what you want. Secondly, patience is key. Make sure you take the time to prepare and analyze well before settling on any product. Research and research and research before going live. Lastly, make use of tools that help you sort through huge amounts of Amazon data to find profitable product niches. These are niches that sit in the sweet spot that combines low competition, high demand and profitability. And here's how to find these products. There's a particular rule you can follow to estimate the profitability of a product. It's called the rule of threes. Every product sale is broken up into three. One third is for Amazon fees, one third for landed costs, and one third for you. That, so that means for a $30 product, you should expect a $10 profit. You can find out all the information about the cost of selling in the in-depth video we made on the cost of selling with Amazon FBA. You can check that out in the description down below. But one quick tip before we get to the next point. There are FBA calculators like that of Jungle Scout which can help you calculate your profit. It's always a good idea to look out for those and use them when you can. They can help you make a more accurate estimation of how much you're likely to make selling certain products. The key metric that helps you determine demand is sales. Obviously, the volume of sales for a particular product tells you just how much people are buying that product and hence whether or not it is profitable. Before you pick a product, find out if there are similar products like that one and how many there are. You want to know if there's space in that niche for a newcomer. Key indicators of the competitiveness of a product include the number of products as well as the number of great reviews and ratings that these products have. In essence, you want to find out if the products already listed on Amazon are any good. If they are superb, then you might not want to get into that space. But if they are not, then that's great news because that means there is space for you. You can step in, modify the product and drive sales your way. Alright, that's where we're going to be stopping for today's video. In the next video, we're going to pick it up from here and continue on how to source products for your FBA business. Please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so you know when we drop the next video. Catch you guys in the next one. See you at the top.